Hello, YouTube. This is Alzoru. Eh. And I, eh. I've decided to do a brand new hardcore challenge for myself, where my goal is to, to essentially create my own fortress. It's a large fortress, I might add. Eh. And essentially have a village inside of that fortress. That <laughs> will, well, um, well, I think you kind of get the idea. But you know how villages work. And how villagers work. Eh, this could end up being a major pain in the butt. But you know how villagers are. Let's not waste time, shall we? Now, while I did make a seed, or pick out a seed, for this world, I don't necessarily know where or everything is. Huh? I essentially turned off, off all the points of interest and left nothing but, but biomes on the map, so I could theoretically have a good start. I'm also doing large biomes, which will make things interesting, I think. I don't think I've ever really played hardcore Minecraft. I've done large biomes, at least, certainly not as part of the channel. And that is a pillager outpost, oh boy. That is not a great thing to start next to. But, if there's a pillager outpost, if my knowledge of the game is correct, there should also be a village decently nearby, because villager outposts tend to not be that far away from villages. At least in my experience. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm down in the comments section, but... To my knowledge, that should be correct. Of course, there's always the chance that I'm way off base. Wait, is that... that's an LA. I may have to come back for that sometime. But that is the future Alzoru problem. If I ever or can get around to it, considering my luck with hardcore. Because, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't have the best track record with hardcore mode. Oh, heck, even on this channel. Well, I've done one other or hardcore challenge, where I did a hardcore in snapshots, back when 1.18 was coming out, which, at this point, was like two to three years ago. And I ended up losing that world because as I got lost. Yeah, I know, embarrassing. oven. Grab an axe. Always gotta ha have a hoe. Well, okay, you don't usually need to carry a hoe on you, but, but I'm definitely going to need it at some point. Preferably sometime soon. At least I know there are cows on this hill, and I saw a cherry grove, which is nice, because I do really like cherry wood. Sorry, sheep. I just need your wool. Nothing personal.
I would go get the a wool for from the camp, but I am really not ready to deal with pillagers. I don't even have armor. I'm sure you guys understand. And that is our first cherry tree. Yeah, give me those saplings. Right? All right. I'd say this is a good start so far. If I can just stay the heck away from that. A few more sticks ought to help. That looks a bit dangerous. I saw a skeleton in there, definitely dangerous, and I am out of, of... Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it all in, Nalzi. It's just a, a village that is... I mean, I did say the villages are often close to the pillager outpost. I didn't expect it to be that close. They're usually a bit farther away than that. Or at least I think they are. And let's cook our first bits of food. Come on, come on. Ah, I should make a smoker. I mean, I'm not sure if that's a great investment at this point in the game. But I do have the resources for it. Maybe it's not the wisest investment, but it's an investment. I did not need to put that down right now. First meal, let's go. Hmm. Oh, that's good. That's button. Oh, okay. That, that could have been bad. Oh, also before I forget. Bum and bum and bum. Not a moment too soon either. Sun will be setting soon enough. And if you, you can skip your first night... It is always a good idea to skip your first night. Whether you're playing hardcore or, or playing on normal mode or easy mode or lord for peaceful mode. Actually, no, skipping the n it doesn't really matter in peaceful mode, but, but in any, any mode that actually matters, Well, any survival mode that matter. Your sleep doesn't matter much in creative either. 
Not unless you have a mob's turn. And on while in creative mode, which, why would you even do that? They would just be really annoying. Hey, villagers, don't mind me. I'm just taking your hay. Wait. Hey, villagers, I'm taking your... I accidentally punned that. Oh, well. I don't have time to think about oh, any hypothetical accidental puns. Especially ones that really aren't, aren't that good. Like, wow, even for me, that's not good. Alright, got over a stack of bread. Most likely, I'll be returning to this village at some point. I mean, after all, I did say I wanted to have villagers in my fortress. I mean, I guess I could just build my own house around the village which in the, and wall the place off to make my fortress, but I'd rather or do th things my way. Besides, I plan to make the villager there's nicer houses. The only thing I'm really questioning is is where I actually want this to be. I might as well take these pumpkins. They are good for trading with farmer villagers. Then again, so are melons, but I don't have melons. And even though I did pick out a seed, I don't know exactly where to find a jungle. I mean, I know it's somewhere north, but I don't really know exactly where. I wasn't paying that much attention. Wait, did I just see... Okay. I've got two villages in fairly close proximity to each other. That is... Really surprising. I mean, I know... A large buy Because there would be multiple villages in the, this grassland. That, that's just how... Ah, statistics and large buy ones work. Like, there would of course be multiple villages... Uh, and one grassland, but I didn't expect them to be this close together, you know? And there's also a ruined portal here. I could get some decent treasure out of this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alzoru, watch where you're going, you doofus. Might as well take the, all these nuggets. And the flint. And the flint and steel, for that matter. You know what? I'll just take the chest. Chests are, are very useful. Ah, ow. Right. Back. Oh, hello. Okay, I'll raid that. How the F? Oh, that's how the F. I just noticed that this golden shovel has unbreaking three. That's actually pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. I wouldn't want to live here, but still cool. Hmm. I think I might know where I want to put my a fortress. Ow. Right over on the, those hills. Yeah, I can just about see it. And it's not that far away 
Rocky from the village is. And there's sugar cane growing nearby. Hey, which is always good. All right. All right, eh? And, uh, wow, okay. See? And, of course, there's hills nearby where I can and find stone and other resources. All right. Yeah, the more I think about this, the more I'm convinced that this is the spot. And there goes the shovel. Well, it did a, a decent job of clearing up this top layer. Oh, sun's already going down. And another night successfully skipped. Hmm. Well, well, Zoru, we've got work to do. Do I see iron in those hills? I believe I do. Either that, it's either that or copper. I so hope I'm right. I think I'm right. Yes. Yes, it is iron. Nice. Just going to grab a little bit of stone before I get over there. I might need this. You never know when you might need blocks to build yourself up. So glad I already made that. That stone pick. Well, I have two iron. That's enough to make a sword. Or a shield and a shovel. I mean, I don't really need a, a shovel. I mean, I guess I kind of do. But it'll be useful to have when I'm in terraforming. But still, it's not absolutely necessary. After all, you could break dirt with your bare hands. Well, I didn't find any exposed iron, but I'll take exposed coal. It's views like these that me really make you appreciate how far this game has come. Just think, a few years ago, a view like this would have been and really hard, if not impossible, to find, but... And ever since 1.18, you can see views like this all over the place. Minecraft has become such a beautiful game in a lot of ways. It's kind of all inspiring. Found a bit more iron. I can now make an iron pick. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping to find some more. And maybe I will yet. Or I could just be uselessly dragged up in a circle. Okay, never mind. There we go. I have enough to make a diamond helmet now. I not diamond. Iron helmet. Why did I say diamond? Derp 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 derp. 
Well, Zoru. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pick, obviously, and a shield as defense. I believe those are my hills over there. And a shovel because I am going to be doing a lot of terraforming and doing it by hand is going to would oh, well I mean that would just suck wouldn't it? Okay, yeah, I was right. This is exactly where I set up camp. I am so glad that I was right. Because if I had been wrong, I would be extraordinarily lost right now, and I forgot about these iron nuggets. What does that say about me as a person, that I forgot I had, had iron nuggets I could make into an ingot? Let's be real, it just says that I'm forgetful. Which I am. Ah, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am very forgetful. Good grief, is there something up to set again already? Well, I have a the iron ingot. Might as well put it to good use. Honestly, I'm not sure why I'm even bothering making those into a proper gold ingot. It's not like I can do anything with gold right now. I mean, sure, eventually I'll probably be using gold to make powered rail to transport villagers, but and even still. These. Make one of these. Still not really ready to fight monsters, but at least I'm more prepared now. And hey, I can still make a stone shovel. Let's be real, I don't really need this hoe just yet. Ah! Jeez, horse! Oh. I, out of my peripheral vision, I thought it was, was a zombie in leather armor. Good grief. Okay, just for the jump scare, you're, you're getting killed for leather. Oh, and you actually dropped some. How nice of you. All right, now, let me just visual these my king do. Hello. Hmm. Actually, this would be better for scaffolding around since I've got more of it. That is more iron up in that mountain. Oh, it's even better than I originally thought. Come 
Welcome to Alvi. Oh, even better than it appears. Oh, even better. Ah, it just keeps going. How lovely. And that appears to be the end of that. But, 8 iron is 8 iron. I got more out of that small bit than I did out of scouring I think half of that other mound. And yeah, that's luck for you, ain't it, guys? Okay, I've already got a chest plate. Granted, a gold one with unbreaking one, but chest plate nonetheless. I know it may seem like a, I'm in a bit of a hurry, but if you guys are only seeing small, small vignette. It's practically like, <laughs> it could be going much faster. It's only a day three, and while I have found a place to live, I'm not re I haven't really started on my base yet. But at least I have a plan. And a long-term one at that, which is more than I can usually say for when I play this game. <laughs> so yeah, I have a plan, eh, and I don't plan to rush it. There may have been a bit too much plan in that sentence. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I like this so far. I do think I like the idea of a cherry wood floor. <laughs> well, sooner or later, I'll have of enough. I'll probably rearrange this at some point. So yeah, up on, on this hill is going to be where I have my main base. I'll probably do a bit of off-screen in gathering and building, and I think uh, I'm getting kind of sleepy anyway. Plus, this video just hit the 30 minute mark, I may as well let you guys go.
See y'all next time.